Hi, I'm Sean McBeth, and I'm going to show you a project I've worked on. This is an HTML5 application that uh, demonstrates genetic algorithms. Basically, every row in the image is a representation of a gene in a gene pool. And over generations, genes get combined and mutated towards an ideal, an ideal gene that satisfies certain properties. In this case, the ideal gene produces a red color. And so over time, we get more and more red out of every row in the, in, in the simulation. In the simulation, I provide a basic editor for being able to change the rules in which genes are evaluated. This is called a fitness function, and the logic is actually very simple. Here's an example of the red gene, where all I have to do is loop over the gene and pick out the red, green, blue, and alpha elements, and then create a fitness value that emphasizes red while de-emphasizes green and blue. Other colors are possible, and I've provided a few scripts to give you a few examples of what can be done. The script for green is very similar. Once again, we're taking out the red, green, and blue component of every gene. And then instead of emphasizing the red, I actually subtract the red and I add the green. So now I have pretty much the same exact script as before, but I'm changing the addition sign from adding the red to adding the green. When we switch back to the simulation and let it run, we see that the red slowly starts to mutate into the green. The sort of waterfall effect of the genes falling down the, the image is a result of the genes growing larger in population for, for specific patterns. As, as the better genes grow and mate with each other, they become a larger portion of the population. The shifting rainbow script is a little more complex of a script. Here, the gene is broken down into sections based off of the distance along the width of the gene and also time. Depending on what section we are in, then different parts of the gene will be emphasized for different colors. So this creates a rainbow effect across the gene. With the time element, the rainbow will shift across the screen. The algorithm for this fitness function is a little more complex than before, so it slows down the simulation a little bit. I don't know if you can tell very clearly, but the, the animation is not quite as fast as before. As you can see, we're starting to grow a couple of different colors. We have yellow here, a pink or magenta color is appearing here, and then red and cyan and green and blue, and then black, and finally white. After a minute, the genes the gene sequence shifts over to the one side, and we get to see the genes reconfigure as sections that were originally green or originally blue now must update to a different color. The final script is called Growing Culture, and it's the most complex script I've provided. I won't show the script on screen because it doesn't fit very well, and you won't be able to see it on here. You'll just have to go to the website and see it. But uh, what it does is it takes into account the age of the different genes. Here, the genes are very, very similar, so it takes a long time for the mutation to take over, and we don't really see much going on. What we can do here is we can use the reset button to send the, the gene pool back to its original blank state, and we'll get to see more of the mutation happen live. This script, is, this script is much more stable between generations. It allows certain genes with certain qualities to live much longer. And you kind of start to see this sort of growing population, different population ranks. It can tend to create effects much like a cellular automaton. This particular one is taking a long time. I've altered the script slightly to put a little bit less emphasis on age. I want particularly old genes to stay around just a little bit longer than they had before, but I want the newest genes to be not that far away. 
So in this case, I'm actually using the log of the age rather than the actual value for the age. So that's about it. Uh, you can check this out online. I have it running on my website, and you can play around with it yourself. If you know a little bit about programming, then you can type out your own fitness function and see what you get.